The Cody Willard Show. If you have any interest in a hardware producer for 5G, someone along the lines of Nokia or Ericsson, and they go on to say, I doubt you have lots of love for Huawei, but the other two, after missteps, are down a bunch. Verizon will benefit domestically and producers, hopefully, globally. All right, so that question is addressing something I've talked about over the last couple of shows, and my Train with Cody subscribers, excuse me, know well. I'm invested in Verizon, and it's mostly because I think they are the best way to invest in 5G in the United States. They have more cash, more access to capital, and better infrastructure, and are more focused on building 5G than any of their competitors, T-Mobile, Sprint, or uh, AT&T. The question is about, can you buy the suppliers, the companies who are selling that equipment to Verizon, like the companies really these days, like everything else, have been consolidated down to just two or three competitors because the Republican Democrat regime doesn't enforce antitrust law. But the two competitors in this case are Ericsson and Nokia. Um, there is Yahweh and a couple other Chinese or Asian companies that are in there selling 5G equipment. There's lots of smaller players out there that sell into 5G in some fashion. But I don't like Verizon and Nokia. They still have so much legacy business and so much legacy uh, debt. They have so, their, their balance sheets are terrible. I don't even know if they'll actually have the profit margins on 5G or the size of orders, the average selling price for each of the orders of the equipment that they sell for 5G versus what they did for LTE and 4G and wireless in the past here. So I stick with Verizon as a 5G play and I avoid Ericsson and Lucent. <laughs> just kidding. To view the whole episode, just Google The Cody Willard Show, Episode 2. Be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel, like the Facebook page, and subscribe to the podcast. For more, go to tradingwithcody.com.